Now, my luck in Fortnite has never really been the best. I mean, anything from bad loot to getting sniped the second I stop moving. And sometimes I feel like I'm actually walking around with a storm cloud above my head. Oh, wait a second. Even with my terrible luck, though, the people in today's video have got some record-breakingly bad luck that make me feel like my luck's not so bad. Or it is, and theirs is just that much worse. But hey, you haven't used code T5G in the item shop when purchasing new skins. And that, my friend, is why your luck is really onto the video! Okay, okay, onto the video. Number 10, the box of death. With chapter two bringing a complete overhaul of the entire game, bugs are expected. But this particular glitch was quite odd. In fact, it happened to a ton of people and social media blew up with the supposed box of death. But the most unlucky example was when the box of death struck an entire squad. That entire squad was of course filled with Tim the Tatman, Jordan Fisher, Dr. Lupo, and fear itself. In Frenzy Farm, there's a weird glitch that would eliminate any player who got to a specific height. Firstly, Dr. Lupo went to this area and immediately was taken out by the bug. And out of confusion, the other three all ran to grab his reboot card. Yeah! What? There's a dead zone? Oh, don't go in there! Wait, where? With fear itself getting eliminated and shouting, no, wait, to Tim and Jordan Fisher before Jordan was taken out by the same bug and Tim eventually jumped into the area, which eliminated him. Don't, no, 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 I was in the box, just don't. Do we all just die? Out of confusion, Tim warns the others not to go into the box of death, but realizes it already took all four of them out. It's really unlucky, but it's absolutely hilarious at the same time. Let's hope the bug is fixed by now, but in at number nine, we gotta warn you guys to be careful of the lighthouse. The lighthouse is one of the most notable locations on the map because you can see its strong beam of light from all the way across the island. However, when you land there, you have to be very careful. Once I landed there when playing duos and while my teammate was looting at the top, I destroyed the lighthouse from the bottom and he fell and got down. It was funny, but you should be weary of that if any enemies are nearby. There's one other thing that you should be careful with when being at the top of the lighthouse and that's digging straight down. The user on Reddit wasn't as careful as they should have been and suffered for it. They were unlikely lucky enough to stand in the perfect spot that when they destroyed the floor below them, it sent them hurling toward the ground, only just missing the spiral staircase that would break their fall. There were so many other spots that you could have stood before the floor broke, and you just had to be in the exact place which would send you all the way to the ground. How unlucky. At least it's a good lesson to learn. Watch what you're doing. Although having a brand new map is really fun because all of us get to learn these little things to avoid and when they happen, I would say it's more comedic than annoying. But in at number eight, we've got the unlucky desync button. This clip is coming from TSM Daquan. And at first you watch him randomly get eliminated out of thin air. What? What? I love the little what sound he makes before screaming. It's pretty hilarious. Then Daquan goes into replay mode to try and figure out what just happened. He goes to view the player that eliminated him, spotting that they were nowhere near him at the time. The player just walks around minding their own business before shooting into the air and getting an elimination on Daquan. This was super unlucky because from this we can gather that Daquan must have desynced or appeared in a location he wasn't at due to an unfortunate bug. Although I hope more glitches like this happen to Daquan because it's pretty hilarious how he reacts to them. It's just too good. Number seven, when you try to replicate the trailer, but you fail at, oh, hey. So we've all seen the chapter two battle pass trailer where the player dives off of the cliff into the water below. And yes, we've all tried to recreate it. When I tried to dive, I just ended up jumping off of the dam and landing in the water, but with no animation. But it seems that you have to jump out of the water rather than just straight up jumping off of the edge of a cliff. When Reddit user tried to replicate the trailer, they got everything right. The build up, the diving animation, well, except for one thing, they, they missed the water, yet they just straight up dove headfirst into the ground and got eliminated. Super unlucky because all they had to do was just hit water and they plummeted into the grass. Ouch. Ouch. Number six. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. One of my favorite things about chapter two is the fact that you can literally kidnap people. All you gotta do is down them, make sure their friends aren't there and run away with the person. In this case, a squad of three carried an enemy to an open area and began to pass the person around in a circle. Of course, when you're down, you lose health over time. The aim of their little game was whoever had the enemy in their hands when they lost all their health and got eliminated, got to keep all the loot they dropped. It's actually a pretty smart way to fairly share the loot, but how unlucky to be the person who not only 
family gets down, but your friends abandon you as you're passed between a group of three randoms fighting over your loot. It kind of reminds me of that scene in Rick and Morty where the aliens are just passing him to each other, except this version is less disturbing. Number five. Why can't I hit this guy? This is one of the funniest clips on our list. You have this player who's minding their own business until they see an unsuspecting enemy at the bottom of the mountain. They then start shooting at them, but none of the shots are doing any damage, especially when they fire an RPG at it and try to get closer. But none of these shots are lit. Why can he not hit this guy? Is he hacking? Is he doing some sort of infinite health glitch? Of course, this player had to investigate further and he moved further down the mountain, shooting even more at the enemy. Just nothing was working at this point, so he pulled out his rocket launcher once again and jumped, but the enemy he did the exact same. It was at this moment he knew he messed up because the enemy was his own shadow the entire time. The funniest part about this is when he realizes it's his shadow. He makes a little sound and then clears his throat hoping no one noticed. Uh. <clears throat> oh, but oh, we noticed all right. We noticed. Number four. Thanks for playing. I think the worst part about Fortnite, or really any Battle Royale game for that matter, is that you have the chance of landing in the most unlucky place and immediately being sent back to the lobby before you have a chance to even do anything. It's just the nature of Royale games. At least when I'm back in the lobby, I can enter code T5G into the item shop. Yeah. And while getting eliminated straight away has happened to me a few times, and this is probably the worst version of that imaginable. I can't even imagine this happening to me. I'd probably uninstall the game. Basically, this guy not only gets beaten to the chest, he also gets beaten to the loot and then gets downed by the same person who is faster than him. Now, normally the player would have nowhere to escape because they're on a really high tower, but with chapter two, they can obviously just get picked up now. And of course, that's what happened. They got picked up by this player who just humiliated them in everything so far and get yeeted all the way off the tower and get eliminated. It's just awful to watch. I feel so bad for them. The only lucky part about any of this is that they got eliminated right next to the reboot van, so hopefully they were picked up later in the match. Fingers crossed. Player number three, we've got carrying enemies instant karma. Not only is this clip just the worst case of instant karma, but it's the unluckiest I've seen in a while. The enemy tries to be a massive troll by carrying the player away from the battle to lure their teammate out or whatever reason, all I know is the look on this guy's face as he was running away with the down player must have been amazing. But the look on their face would have changed almost immediately because all of the places they could have picked to run into and they ran straight into a house that the down player had already placed a spike trap inside and they got both their revenge and instant karma. It's so unlucky, but that's what happens when you try to be cocky. The lesson of the day is don't kidnap people. Actually, never mind. You can kidnap people in Fortnite because it's hilarious, but that that's it. Unless you get cocky and start dancing on them and it then, then that that is most definitely not okay that that's a big no t5g disapproves unless you've entered the code which in that case we may make it except number two xqc's first game of chapter two xqc is a joy to watch play fortnite but stream sniping is the worst and xqc got really unlucky in his first ever match of chapter two all he did was land in a random location grab a single gun open the door and get greeted by an rpg rocket just inches from his face the timing of that rocket and him opening the door was so unlucky and it could only have been caused by a stream sniper surely what do you think about the amount of rocket launchers currently available in chapter two i mean it makes sense because there's barely any guns left in the entire loot pool but let us know your thoughts in the comment section below Honorable mentions, the first yeet of the season. Here is something that isn't one of the unlucky's moments, but it was pretty humiliating nonetheless. TSM Myth was playing one of his first games of chapter two in front of tens of thousands of Twitch viewers when he discovered that you could actually carry enemies. Of course, taking advantage of this new discovery, he yeeted the enemy straight off the building and laughed at them being eliminated. My face also lit up with joy when I discovered I could throw people I downed off of tall peaks. And while there's something barbaric about this and you probably could question what Epic were thinking, the game is T14 after all. There's something so fun about it. But this guy was especially unlucky because he was one of the first yeets of the season, and his humiliation was broadcast to many people. Poor Deco HD, rest in peace, buddy. We'll remember you. Number one, 200 IQ. Oh no. All he wanted to do was fish. Leave the poor guy alone. First, he gets attacked while he's fishing, and then when he goes to defend himself, he gets destroyed by someone behind him who was creeping up in the water. They're coming from all directions. He was just destined for that guy just to not win the match. Poor dude. How unlucky, but using an emote in the water to hide yourself is actually pretty smart. I might use that. I wonder if there's an emote out there with pretty undetectable music, but also one that hides you underwater, because that would literally be pay to win at that point. Maybe. Maybe you could buy one of those emotes. 
in the item shop using code T5G. Just a suggestion when you're in the item shop. So use it and click this annotation on the screen while you click the subscribe button while you're at it because you want to support your favorite channel, Top 5 Gaming. Keep it right here. We'll see you guys in the next video.